what is going on you guys i wanted to come on here really quick and make this video for you i had to share this because this is like so personal to me but i feel like when good things happen to you you have to share them with other people especially when it's something so small but left such a big impact on my life i want to share with you guys today about how prayer is so powerful there's so much power in prayer whether the prayer is big or small just praying and asking god for the things that you need and praying and thanking god for the things that he's blessed you with there's so much power in the tongue there's so much power in what you speak over your life there's no reason to worry about things that you know god can handle you have to put all of your faith in god I tell you, I woke up the other day in a terrible mood. I had so much work to do regarding school. It just felt overwhelming and I was stressed out. I was really stressed and I I had, I knew I was speaking negativity over my life. It was like I allowed myself to do that because I was just so miserable and I didn't want to do all that work and I knew that it was going to be time consuming. That day I woke up and I just, I told myself I was going to be upset. And I mean, what more can you expect? When you literally put that on your life you can't really expect much when that's what you're going to speak over yourself so that day i think i just carried on with a bad day but i still ended up doing what i had to do and the assignment that i had to complete did take a lot of time but i was able to pull through and get it done i was a little bit worried about how my grade would be just knowing that the professor graded really hard and you know you just never know and i kind of needed to get a good grade on that assignment so before i sat there and i worried and stressed myself out about what the grade's gonna be how am i gonna pass the class like i really could have gone crazy i prayed and i gave it to god and i said lord if it is your will that i pass if it is your will that you know i do well on this assignment god if i if it's your will that i don't god it's in your hands and lord i give it to you i trust god i trust god with everything in me i trust god with all of my being i trust him with my life my life is his life i've given my life to the lord give your life to god trust him with everything that you have talk to god about the little things in your life talk to god about your plans about short-term things long-term goals ideas that you have ask god get his opinion the lord wants to be included in your life he wants to know what you want to do he wants to be center of your life he wants to be the center of your being because without god I am nothing. I couldn't do what I do today. I wouldn't be alive today if it wasn't for the Lord and I give him all the glory over my life. Really what I want to tell you all is no matter what it is, don't be too hard on yourself. Talk to God. Talk to God. If you don't know how to talk to God, the best way to start is just to start. You have to say something. Lord, acknowledge what he's done with your life. Every day, count your blessings you're waking up in the morning i know a lot of people say like i'm awake today i'm blessed but really think about that there's a lot of people especially right now with this virus and you know this the pandemic people are not waking up their last day was yesterday they didn't get today and you got today so why not be grateful for today, no matter what the day holds? God is in control. When I listen to this testimony that's actually going around on uh, social media, I love the part where he mentioned that a lot of us have so much faith in the chair that we've never really seen before. It's just a regular chair. We have to just sit on the chair and we, we have so much faith in that chair. We don't even think twice whether or not the chair will hold us up because we just we just have faith that it will. But when it comes to God and it comes to leaving our prayers to God, we don't just leave it to God and say, God, it's in your hands. Lord, I have faith in you, God, because you are the almighty God. We we ask God, why aren't you answering our prayers? Lord, did you hear me? God, I don't think he's going to answer my prayers. It's like, why? Why do we second guess God? God is so powerful. He will work in your life. He will provide miracles. There's things that God has done in my life that I can't even explain. Back to this assignment. I gave it to God and I said, Lord... It's in your hands. If it's your will, it will be. I woke up this morning and I got a 100%. A 100%. I got an A. And not just an A where the professor was like, I'm just handing out A. She critiqued it so hard. She went through and, you know, looked at every little thing and she gave me feedback. And to see how good that feedback was, was amazing. And you know what's funny? I give it to God. Because I said, Lord, <laughs> it's yours. I, I was very worried about it at first, but once I gave it to God, I forgot. I went to sleep, peacefully woke up, and a blessing 
was here. I was blessed. And that's just something today that I wanted to share with you. It was just a simple prayer. I just said, Lord, it's in your hands. Lord, I will not worry about it. And everything worked out for the best. God worked. God heard my prayer. It was on his timing. He will give you the desires of your heart. Include him in your life. Seek him. Don't treat God like a task. He loves you. He loves you more than you will ever understand. The love he has for you is beyond this earthly understanding of love that we know. I want you all to see the Lord through me and I want you all to carry yourselves as followers of the Lord and carry yourselves with with dignity and strength and happiness and positivity because when you have God on your side, you have everything. You have everything you could ever need when the Lord is center of your life. When you make serving God the purpose of your life, you will have everything. Everything. I promise you what I think is best for me is probably not. So you know what? I say, God, guide me today. Lord, walk with me today. Show me where to go. Because honestly, when I try to do things on my own, it never really ends up working out for me. When God tells me to do something, when God shows me the way, when I let him lead me in my life, I end up places I never thought I'd go. I, I end up doing things I never thought I'd do. And I end up feeling better than I could ever imagine feeling. If I can leave you with one thing today, I just pray. I pray, God, I pray, Lord, that the people who are watching this, I pray that you watching this, talk to God, pray, big or small, talk to him for an hour, talk to him for five minutes, talk to him today, pray about something, talk to him, let him know how you're feeling, thank him, thank him for your life, thank him for the blessings, thank him for your family, thank him for your friends, just include the Lord in your life, because I don't know what it is that you may be dealing with going through. I have no idea. I have no clue. But God will work in your favor. God will guide you. He will He will bless you beyond measures. Trust him with everything that you have. God's timing is always right. And I pray that you all have a, an amazing day. I hope that you all can see God working in your life. Continue to pray. Continue to love others and pray for other people. God is listening. He is. I just wanted to share that with you all. I hope that you all are doing well. And I actually have another video coming out soon. So if you guys want to check that out, you can. Make sure to follow me on social media. Instagram, I'm most active. It's at ash220 underscore. And you can see that down below. I'll leave it right here for y'all if you just want to see it. But um, everything's down below if you want to click on those links. Also, if you are new here and you've never ever seen my face before, hi, my name is Ash and this is my channel, Living Ash. And become a subscriber, join the family. I post all types of videos and I love feedback, so let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see. I thank you all so much and um, God bless you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.